Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at those guys. Uh, Westfield Theatre in Hamilton getting set for a fun night of comedy from uh, a trio that I uh, know a thing or two about it is they have over a thousand years of experience. <laughs> I stole that from them. Comedy greats Patrick McKenna, Neil Crone, and Kevin Frank are the Yes Men Improv Comedy team and happy to have our favorite one with us this morning because the other two didn't show up. So Kevin <laughs> Frank on the couch with us this morning. Welcome to Hamilton. This is exciting for you because you've never done this show in Hamilton, definitely not at the Westdale. Oh, we haven't. We And we looked at the Westdale Theatre many times and thought we need to play there because it's a beautiful space and we love Hamilton. Right. So you guys, the three of you, go back a ways. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I, I think uh, and, and Neil's first class was my first class at Second City and I even met Pat before we were at Second City. I sold him a stereo when I worked at Radio Shack <laughs> putting myself <laughs> through school. Right. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Awesome. Okay. I, before we get into the Yes Men a little bit more, I have to go back because you were a big part of my childhood and I don't know any kids out there or any people my age, my vintage, might know you from Kid Street because uh, Kid Street was a big thing with my siblings because there was a game show. What was the era that it ran, Kevin? Uh, we ran from uh, 86 to 91. 91, 350 yeah. episodes. And it was a thrill because you quizzed your, your brother or sister on if they knew each other well. That's right. And then the big thing is if you, oh yeah, you always get the clap above, <laughs> right? Yes. And then if you won, you got to go in and pick as many toys as you could in like a short amount of time. Yeah, uh, we had to solve the Rebus round, right. right? The picture puzzle that we put up there. It was uh, quite fun. Do kids my age or grown people now remind you about Kid Street? They do. do they, they do. They'll, yeah. they'll stop me in the street and, say, and and they'll clap over their head and I'll know <laughs> like right away it. that they'll recognize me from <laughs> yeah, that. Right, yeah. Did I tell you the story about why they're clap over their head? No. Yeah. Uh, the, the sound engineer in the studio, when we were doing the pilot episode, the kids were clapping like this and he came bursting into the theater and he said, all right, from now on, everybody <laughs> claps over the head because that clapping is killing me in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fabulous. Good, that's right. right. Yeah. I wonder if our sound people are like when I do that, huh, <laughs> Laura? Um, okay, improv. It's not easy. Oh, you know, we were born without a script, so it's easy when you're willing to take the risk, right? And willing to fail forward. Like, that's the key. It's like, take a chance. Uh, embrace the change. Like, in your years at Second City, how many years were you there altogether? Cause uh, 30 some odd years. Right, and it wasn't just like, people that want to become actors or performers. Oh. It, it's key that we have that, that improv muscle just in life. Absolutely. In fact, I spent as much time delivering corporate workshops to executives all around the world, uh, just getting them to think a little bit more uh, about change and, uh, and change management, leadership styles, using improv tools. Right. What's the key to improv? I think it's, it's to know that everyone there wants you to succeed, so don't get in your own way. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have a game plan going in? Like, so it's tomorrow night at the Westdale. So That's it's right. eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, do you have a, what do you have in mind? Do you know what's going to happen? Like, <laughs> it's pretty loose. It's pretty loose. We have a, a series of uh, games that we like to play, but if we're riffing on one and it's really working, we go. And of course, we have a musical director, uh, Dewey Minden, and she's amazing. And she'll throw stuff at us like we'll have to break into song in the middle of a scene because she'll start playing. So it's just uh, uh, flying by the seat of our pants. Is it is it easier as you're getting? older or harder or like well we care less about failing <laughs> <laughs> because we know we fail really funnily. So uh, we're not so worried about it. And I trust those guys with well, my you life. You know you know them so well. You oh. can see like ideas being sparked and that, that light bulb going off in Pat or Neil's I'll see head. something in Neil's eye and I know that he's going to turn on me any second. <laughs> you know, it just, I just go, oh, okay, this is going to go crazy. And I know that Pat's going to back him up, right? Yeah, so right, that's, that's what's going on but on even stage. when we're doing like this show, because the key, because I did take some Second City classes and uh -huh. the key that I learned was no. No. You, you never want to say no because no puts a stop to everything. Absolutely. Yeah, you want to say yes in whatever way, whatever form yes Even if takes. you don't agree with it. You do, you, in fact, you don't have to agree. It's, it's even more exciting if you don't agree, but you just accept that it happened, right? right? And you could be affected by it. Right, and that's your and. Yeah. The yes and is, oh, I, I, this happened, okay, and here's how I feel about it. Right, <laughs> cool. so it's that yes and, and it just keeps the story going, and well, you'll the, see a lot of the, that. There's a connection with this station because Red Green was filmed at our old station. Yeah. You were on Red Green. Obviously, Pat McKenna was on Red Neil Green. Neil was, was on, on, yeah. on that. So, like, what this city means for you guys? Oh, we just we just love Hamilton. In fact, yeah. I have family here. I went to Mac. Did you my man? sister <laughs> went to Mac. My brother-in-law went to Mac. My other sister went to Mac. Yeah, we were the whole family. In fact, I got nieces and nephews went to Mac. Yeah, we. 
Halloween. We love it here in Hamilton. Are they all coming to the show? Is there they tickets are. left for anybody else? Well, there are tickets available, <laughs> and I'd love people to, you know, if you could uh, buy a ticket. This is supporting Wellwood, which is an amazing organization here in Hamilton that works with the Wint Hamilton Wentworth Hospitals. And right. they, they're just really helping uh, cancer patients. They're giving them tools to cope with the journey through okay. their cancer treatment, and it's, and it's their surrounding people. And these are no fee. Uh, yoga classes right. and uh, relaxation classes and, and just navigating the system. Uh, but they need money because it's no fee to the clients, yeah. but they need money to run these programs. It's all volunteer run and they're just amazing people. You can feel good about it and have a good laugh about yeah. it. So the Westdale Theater uh, tomorrow night, uh, the Yes Men with uh, Kevin Frank and two other guys that didn't show up. So uh, <laughs> let's let's give a big round of applause to, to Brian <laughs> above our heads. Brian, over to you. Yay! <laughs>